Guten Tag, social media sucklings. The following podcast is not real, but it is really part of the Kidney Macaw, no, rather the Earwolf Network. And it's also sponsored by Cards Against Humanity. Have something to send to Arnie, Chunt, or Usador? Box it up and send it to Cards Against Humanity, 1917 North Elston, Chicago, Illinois, 60642. Care of Arnie Niekamp, Vermilion Minotaur, Town of Hogsface, Land of Foon. And Cards Against Humanity will shove it through the dimensional portal. Now, suspend your disbelief up to the very highest shelf where you keep the really upsetting porn and enjoy the show. from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, shame on you. I forgive you. This is all that you need to know. A bit over a year ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the fantastical magical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a slight Wi-Fi signal from that Burger King through the dimensional portal that I fell through, and I use that to upload a podcast I record every week here in my favorite tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur, in the town of Hogsface, in the land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my boon companions, my buddies, my co-hosts. Oh yeah, baby. Shunt the Talking Badger slash Shapeshifter. Slash King. Slash King of the Badgers. Mm-hmm. That's so, how is it, how's it going being King of the Badgers? Great. I feel like I must have asked you that exact same question last you time. You have, you did. I guess I'm, I guess I just want to know, like, how is your life Change. I feel like I've seen you a little less choo-choo since you've been deemed King of the Badgers. Um, well, I kind of let uh, you store uh, run choo-choo's chow. I pop mm-hmm. in every once in a while. Sure. Um, but yeah, I just try and give some nice speeches to the Badgers to pump them up, make them feel good about themselves. Well, what is it, something you say to the Badger populace to make them feel better? Listen up, babies. Like, uh, you guys are great. Like, <laughs> keep doing your thing. <laughs> you know, Badger on, you know? Badger on. Yeah. But, you know, I've been actually been very busy. I know you don't like talking about it too much. Mm-hmm. There's this curse mm-hmm. that you're supposedly going to die soon. I feel like you're a little bit in denial about it. I'm not in denial. It's just, uh, you know, life life leads to death, and death comes for us all. And, uh, you know, we rise and we fall and we break and we make our mistakes, and, you know, death doesn't discriminate. Well, I am trying my best to reverse this curse. I'm supposed to collect, uh, uh, it's hard to remember, a cow as Do you want to write it down? I should write it down, right? <laughs> Instead of just trying to song remember it. But it, a cow as wide as milk, hair as yellow as gold, uh, a, a cape as red as blood, a slipper as pure as gold. I have the hair, I have the cape, and a bunch of badgers came to the Vermilion Minotaur this morning dragging a dead white cow. What? I have a cow as white as milk. Did... It's dead, but I have it. Oh, boy. I did not order a cow to be killed. Some badgers have disobeyed me. Did you, Wait, did you tell And them? I will make them fear me. Really? So you're... Wait, are you telling the badgers not to help you? No, Reverse the I, curse? I told them to help me. You told them to help you? Well, I, they're trying I didn't to help wanna, you. I didn't want to admit it to you. I mean, maybe they found the dead cow. They killed it. <laughs> now all you need is a pair of slippers. I need a s- slippers as pure as gold, which seems that's the tough one. I mean, honestly, the other ones, not that hard. So it's not, why don't they just, why can't they just be slippers made of gold? I, I, I what does as pure as gold mean? That's a good question. I don't know. We're this is going to be hard. Even if, even if it's just pure gold slippers, that's a high value item. Like you can get a cow. I mean, a cow can be expensive. You can get hair. That was really easy. The cape, still not that hard. The slippers part, that's the hard one. Luckily, you're friends with Usador, uh, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakis. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak, the dwarves know me as Zonenhug Stangis, and I am known in the northeast as Gasmoinius Maystar, and there may be a name or two I have yet to reveal. Because these names are so powerful that they would level mountains, unthrown kings, set 
oceans where there's land and land where there's oceans. So, watch out. You, Sonora, I've been thinking. I've been giving it really serious thought. And I, I'm going to go back to Feline Zelig. <laughs> Please, I beg of thee. I'm going to go back to Feline Zelig. Nothing, it's the worst. Nothing since then has really felt right. And you know what? If I learned anything last week with Jack Vorpal and the Singing Sword, you don't run away from love. You I, don't run away from can't love. Can't you just try, like, Wizard of the Twelfth Realm of, like, a sneezy elf or something? A sne- like, at least let it be something delightful. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll I'll think about Instead it. Of next Ephesius, week, next week I'll either do a sneezy elf, <laughs> sneezy elf, or feline zelig. Although I thank gotta you. say, f- sne- thank you, John, because sneezy elf it really is making feline zelig look a little bit better. Oh, fuck look you. just that much better. But guys, I want to talk to our guest. I'm very excited. Wizards are such a big part of this world, and we've had a couple on before. Right? We've had Spintex the Green, Usador, your Usador the Blue. We've had Can the Wizard. Can the Wizard. I haven't met him. Heard he's an awesome dude. We haven't met Blorth the Brown, but we've met his creepy... Homunculus. Homunculus. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know what? We have on a mauve wizard. Jamilus the Mauve. Yeah, what's up, y'all? Jamilus the hey. Mauve. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm just holding it down, you know, one of the first black wizards, you know, just trying to, you know, make it, make ends meet. You sure. Know, make that magic happen. Uh, you know, I'm Jamilis. Uh, the Mob is my, you know, wizard name. Sure. But I like to go by my, my, you know, my actual, like, birth name. Sure. Jamilis Washington. You sure. know, bringer of feast and famine. You know, master of the great plantation. You know, shadow of the triangle trade winds. You know, the dwarves know me as that dude. You know, elves know me as always holding. You know, and I'm also known in the far south as boy. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just always trying to make it happen, you know. And the Badgers yeah. know him as Jamilus the Realist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamilus the Realist. I love that. Well, we don't say it like that. <laughs> you don't say it like that? Yeah, yeah you know, Badgers are, they, the badgers are cool, man. Badgers are straight thank up you. cool oh, people. You know oh, my gosh. Thank I get, you. I get down with some Badgers, man. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I just say you are the coolest wizard? Wow. Hey, oh yeah! Hey, like the watch it. No, I mean, that's I just, not saying much, but 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 by a great by a great length. Usador is the best wizard, but I think mm-hmm. just the way the way you wear your robes a little oh, like yeah. yeah yeah. Sometimes I wear my robes inside out. Yeah. You know, sometimes <laughs> you know just let people know. You know, I got my own style. You but know it's I mean? cool when you do it. When Usador does it, you're like, oh, Usador, you don't do you even realize you're wearing your robes inside out? Yeah. I have upside my robes down inside out for like uh, half a year. Oh, oh, I was probably trying to cast a spell. <laughs> Yeah, Usador is always trying, you know. His trials are hard, you know what I mean? Oh, well, I try very hard, uh, and I succeed at every turn. Yeah, yeah, Usador, you know, sometimes, you know, he would uh, wander down to the, you know, the darker sides of the halls, you know, and we, you know, we let him hang out for a little bit, make him feel good about himself, you know, let him, let him feel like he was a part of the, you know. I was very popular at the Great Halls of Tarragos. Yeah, yeah, you know. Hmm. He, he, he Sometimes he try and jump in the freestyle s- spell circles sometimes. uh uh-huh. You know, trying to throw some off-the-cuff spells. Sure. You know what I mean? But, you know, he, he tries. He tries. That's when I first made a tiny horse. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. a freestyle spell? Yes. Wow. Oh. Jamilis, would you mind showing us some freestyle a freestyle spell right now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. I'm coming straight to you, coming with the magic on. Making sure I got it at the crazy dawn. I'm going to put it up, make it big. What is the world? What is the book? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Very impressive. Holy crap. A wonderful feast just appeared here that on our table. That is amazing. Yeah, you know, sometimes you got to eat. You know, what This I mean? is the first good food I've seen since I've gotten to Foon. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you come down to the, the south, you know, you get to enjoy some real good food. You sure. know what I mean? Like stuff that's not boiled or like. Yeah. We have this, uh, this concoction we call uh, mumbo. M- mumbo, yeah, yeah, what's yeah. mumbo? Oh, it's mumbo's a, delicious. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of seafood mixed into a a, a flour base. Sure, that you do, it's like a stew that you yeah. like like set up for a couple of hours. It's got some okakra in it. Yeah, it's there's got, also mambalaya, which is oh yeah, yeah that's delicious. good stuff, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a badger friend that makes a real like straight, you know, true southern. You know, Mumbalaya. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please introduce me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a Southern Badger, so you know. He, sure. I'm, I would love to <laughs> still love that. He did a little rough, you know, a little rough. Oh, okay. a little rough. Yeah, yeah, that's you fine. I mean? That's fine. I Badger. bet you sit here before their very king. Uh, hey, man. I mean, you know, Badgers have a hard time down south. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Badgers, man, they're being oppressed down there, man. Well, let me, I'm going to write this down. 
John, what are, you gonna, what are you going to do for the Badgers in the South? I didn't know, but I'm going to try and solve That's it. Not an gonna, it. <laughs> That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. Nobody told me. The Badgers up up here, you know what I mean? Like yeah. The Badgers are like, there's like freedom up here, you know? Oh, badgers, yeah. Badgers care. They can become anything they want. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not even a Badger, and I'm king of the Badgers, so what does that say about... Uh, it's not a great thing to go back and tell your friend. Um. Oh wow! All right, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So you, you just fronting as a badger man? <laughs> no, I mean I'm I'm a badger, but I'm also a shapeshifter. I don't. Yeah, I, but I, I, immediately I'm going to make a decree that all southern badgers can come up north and and we will hang. Yeah, and then they'll find out about it a couple of months later. You know what I mean, Jamil? So I. I'm, I, what's it like being? You, you're the first black wizard. I'm the first black wizard. You know. Or right? I mean, I guess there is a. A black wizard, well, but you're. I'm the f- I'm, I'm the I'm the first uh, racially yeah black wizard. You know, is that does that feel? Is it tough? Does it a lot of it, responsibility? It, it's hard, man. It's hard. You know, sometimes you know not. You know, Usador is kind. Of, you know, he's he's down. You know what I mean? Like he gets it. You know, I'm he, down to clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he gets it. Is he, maybe not the right. <laughs> well, I mean, he tries. You know what I mean? He, he tries. tries. He he's good hearted. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, but there's some other wizards, man. They they just on some on some crazy shit, man. Sure. Like uh, there's there's a point when I, I first you know went into the halls, you know I, I would get made fun of. Sure. You know I I didn't have the robes that everybody else had. You yeah. know I didn't have all the stuff. I was down scholarship, you know. Sure. So people are like, yeah, you ain't got the proper spell books. You know mm. your cauldron is used. You know what yeah. I mean? Like your wands are like you know secondhand. Is it bad to have a used cauldron? Uh, I mean, there's some buildup. Or is it like a it's teapot a, where it's like it makes it f- the flavor better. Well, uh, the the remnants that get left behind in a cauldron, a used one, uh, can a- a- impact the effectiveness, the efficacy of the potions that you create. Mm. Mm-hmm. So it can be a negative, yes, uh, certainly. Uh, Did you ever have like uh, cauldron residue mishaps from your I, used cauldron? I, I, I did. I did actually. Uh, you know, I was trying to you know conjure up a, a freestyle spell, and I wound up giving myself a jar curl. You know, so <laughs> oh. so for like a solid month, man, it was just. Yeah. Rough, do they have man. jerry curls on Earth? We do. I'm not sure if it's the exact same thing. What's a jerry cool curl in Foon? Oh, it's whenever, you know, your fingers start to, like, curl up un- uncontrollably. Uh-huh. Oh. You know, and then it's like, Ooh, and then it's like just dripping. It's all kind of dripping oh, sweat yeah. everywhere. I mean, your fingers are just dripping sweat. Yeah, that's not as bad as it is on Earth. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> now, Jamilus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Why sorry. were you brought forth into Foon? What great quest fills your heart with dread and wonder. Well, you know, I, um, I gotta tell you, y'all, and it's hard for me, you know, because sometimes people always associate black Mm -hmm. with being dark. Sure. Right. You know, I I think there's somebody that, you know, Usador knows that's really given, you know, people who are, you know, darker a bad name. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, the dark- and this is one of the awful, th- only one of the awful things he's done. Sure. So the Dark Lord, uh, this is hard to talk about. The Dark Lord is a black wizard, but he's not a black wizard. He was a member of our order. Mm-hmm. His robes were black. Mm-hmm. He became the Dark Lord, and we have cast him out. Mm-hmm. Is this an appropriate question? It's probably not, if I have to ask that beforehand. What? Like, the Dark Lord, what is his, what is his racial makeup? I, I assume he's white. I assume he's white. He's more of a bluish gray? Yeah. A bluish, yeah, bluish gray. gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, how should I feel about bluish gray? Hmm. Well, it's horrible that my, I'm immediately like, how should I feel about bluish gray people? Yes, <laughs> it, of, yes, it is horrible. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, there are many great bluish gray people that I know. Yeah, they're all wonderful. I don't. Sure. I I hate the Dark Lord with more than anything. I'm I, I'm bet. really ashamed of myself. I no, hear about is, one horrible person no, with no, bluish no. gray skin, and I'm like, well. Should I be worried about bluish gray people in general? No, of course not. These yeah. are the types of conversations about wizards we should be having. Yeah, That's yeah. True. We That's have true. to have that open dialogue. You know what I mean? You got to open that up. Yeah. So you know, for me, you know, my biggest quest is I'm trying to, I'm trying to take back things. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to mm-hmm. claim it back from the Dark Lord. Sure. Wonderful. You know, so, Thank you. Yeah. So you know, I'm thinking like robes. You know yeah. what I mean? Black robes, not bad. Ooh. You know what I mean? Ooh. Even though mauve is better. You know sure. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But black is slimming. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You know what? Let's take a real quick break. and I'm, uh, Let's get a drink and uh, let's learn more about the mauve wizard. Fly, you fools. 
over to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a patron of the show. For only $5 a month, you get access to all of our wonderful bonus content and material and ad-free versions of the show. All right, we're back. Jamilis, what... Could you tell me a little bit about your powers? Like, how does the, the feast and famine, like, how does that manifest itself? Yeah. It, also, it, can we dig into this? Oh, yeah. oh my I mean, gosh. This amazing food has been sitting here. Yeah. going to grab one of these chops here. Yeah. yeah. Pass it around. I'm the yeah. family's down right All here. All right. Uh, so the feast and famine, it's, it's, a mm-hmm. hard, it's a hard balance. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, you know, you get to eat all you want. You know, you're sitting at that table. You're full. You know what I mean? Your, 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 your spirit is nurtured. You sure, know I mean? yeah. But then some other days, you just... Don't know what to do. Yeah. You know, everything's holding you down. You know, everything's oppressing you. Sure. You know, so, you know, I take that, I find that inside that person and I'm able to manifest that, whether it be a bountiful meal or whether I give them nothing but dirt, rocks and coal. You know Ooh, what I mean? Boy, like, like Santa. Just, you like, know what I mean? like, like who? Uh, well, there on my world, there's a there's a magical, a magical being who not mauve robes, but like red robes. Okay. Uh, I thought who, you said there weren't magical beings. You said there's no magic. Well, it's complicated. I mean, he's it's more of a folk tale in my world. Ah. No. And if you're bad, he gives you coal. But he doesn't take the taste out of your mouth. I'd love to hear more about that. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, if I walk up to somebody and they're just you're acting wrong, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just slap them across the face. <laughs> <laughs> the most taste. direct type of magic wow. there is. Yep. <laughs> and then when you smack them across the face, they lose the taste in their mouth? Yeah, take the taste right out their mouth, man. Wow. wow. It's, it's this magical you know, ability I have. I developed it. Slap Arnie. Know. No, I need my taste. That's yeah. almost all I have. That's all the <laughs> happiness I have. I mean, but, but you know, Arnie's, Arnie's all right. You know, yeah. it's a little, you know, I, all right. I, yeah, I had heard tale a little bit that you were, you know, a little discriminatory against swords, you know. Oh, uh, I just didn't know. I'm just trying to educate myself. That's, that's the word on the street, man. Yeah. It's like, you got you to... Gotta, Got to take care of that. Gotta yeah, yeah that. I passed yeah. out Jamilis, the word. Sorry. I what, you, what you don't understand is that Arnold, it comes from a very foreign land, even stranger than the most bizarre places you've ever visited in Foon. This earth is filled with large metal buildings and all sorts of machinations beyond our understanding. These base, backwards people live their lives wow. with no base. magic whatsoever. How do you live, man? You know... We're not really living. If you didn't have magic, you know, like it's just like people just do what they want. You know what I mean? They just take advantage of you, sure. they hold you down. You know, you can't you know get strong with them. You know what I mean? So, like, do you see magic as sort of a, ba- a balancing? Uh, absolutely. You know, sometimes you know when a when a wizard manifests in this world, you sure. know, it's for, it's always for a reason, right? right exactly. It's always, it's always for a reason to rebalance the scales. Exactly. Ex- exactly. Yeah. I came about because of the Dark Lord. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like when the when the Dark Lord m- made his turn, you know, they has like, oh man, like we got to regulate this. Yeah. Like we gotta we gotta make sure that that people don't understand don't, don't like associate dark and black together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, bam, black wizard. Yeah. You know, in some ways, your job is harder than Usador's. Usador has to defeat the Dark Lord, but you have to kind of like. Deal with the consequences yeah. of his very it's, existence. It's a battle of wills. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I'm right. I must only defeat this manifestation of pure evil. You must win back the hearts and minds of those who have been wronged by him. Yeah, and how is that better to do that? With a feast. You know yeah. What I, mean? I just call up banquets like crazy. It's like, what the put the book, put the book, put the book. And then, like, hey, whoa, yeah, 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 oh, okay. enjoy this, man. Ah, cheesecake. This yeah. is great. Yeah, you know, so, you know, sometimes, you know, people aren't always, you know, they look down on a little bit. It's like, I mean, food, you know, yeah. what's that about? Like, why, like, why food? Yeah. You know, like, why, why feast? Yeah. Brings people together. Exactly. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. What? I mean, badgers get it. Oh, yeah. You're my what badger. What is more intimate? Badger. You're, You're my can badger. I, can I say badger? Yeah, you can You're say badger. You're my badger. badger. Yeah, you're a badger, man. What is more intimate than sharing food with someone? Fuck Fights him. for families and, uh, oh, fuck him, probably. Oh, all right. Ustor was in the middle of a beautiful sorry, speech. Sorry. No, I'm, no, he's right, so I'll I, stop. Just, I'm sorry. Just We hadn't said or done anything crass in, like, you, minutes. Ustor, do I need to slap this man over here? No, I need my taste. But uh, that actually that actually brings up a, a question that I have. Yeah. What do you, do you have anything for people who, you know, so food is healing and oh, it's yeah, good. And it, uh, but what about people who hypothetically mm-hmm. have a problem where they eat too much food like they eat until they're full or satiated and they just keep on eating he's talking about him 
Oh, you know, well, there's different kinds of feasts. You know, like, yeah. I, I manifest food feasts, but I can also make a feast of the eyes. Oh. You know what I mean? Like I can make a amazing color array that wow. just makes you just like whoa. You yeah. Know? Or you know, I might have a feast for the ears. You know, sure. I'll have like a, a great tune. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like something real hard, like a party banger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. What I mean, like, <laughs> absolutely. It's, it's like, all about delighting the senses or cutting off any mm-hmm. sensation whatsoever. So then, can you also make people blind? Or oh deaf? yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can cut off their, their any any sense they have. I can cut it off. Wow! So they can't smell anything until I allow them to smell again. Holy! Can cow. you make them mostly deaf? Well, I can make them. I can make them. You know, most deaf. Yeah, I can make them most deaf. You know, I can make them. You know, like you know, kind of you know, deaf jam. You know? Oh, oh, ooh, I can that jam up their good. deaf. Yeah. I can jam uh-huh. up that jam, jam their ears. Yeah, jam their ears a little bit. So that, you know, deaf jam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you are you ever sitting at home and suddenly you're like, oh shit. I forgot to ever give that guy a smell back. Like I meant to, I meant to like just fuck up his smell for like a week, and it's been years, and I forgot. Well, one thing that's actually uh, I've been working on because uh, I, I did have that problem because I am young. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes I make mistakes. Sure. Um, you know, and I've been working on my long distance take mm. and give. Ooh. I can give it take it long distance, right? Yeah. Now. So I've I've worked up to, you know, probably at least three to four towns over. You know, I can just give you something to take something away from you. Wow. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, you know, and uh, Usador has been helping me out a little bit. You know, he's been, uh, you know, trying to, like, give me that, you know, real championship leadership that he has, you know. I like to take young wizards under my wing when I have the opportunity to help lift them up. For lifting them up is lifting all of us up. Mm -hmm. Is that not true? Not to change the subject, but uh, I also run a restaurant. Do a little cooking there if you if you're not busy later. I'd, uh, uh, I'd love for you to come by and you know try out some of my, uh, some of our food. Uh, I, I, I can check it out. I see what I can do. Yes, I'll yes. I'll see, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Invite your friends. You sort of, have you considered using magic to make your food at Juju's no. show? Absolutely not. <laughs> why? Why not? It needs something. It, it needs a lot. How of things. dare? A. How dare you? And B. You loved that fox face that we made for you. <laughs> yeah, you ate it all, didn't you? Uh, over time, you chewed it for a long time and uh, swallowed it down. It's the worst. Now, now the, the big issue is that, you know, your magic affects the food, you know? So if he tried to use magic on his food, you know, it would make it real, like, all the food that was supposed to be heavy be light, you know? It yes. starts to, start to play with the, the, yeah. the, the flavor profiles, you know, mm-hmm. that, you know? You get a chicken breast, it's all dark meat. Mm-hmm. Oh. But there's nothing wrong with that, you know what I mean? No, that's <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that, right, you know right. what I mean? Sometimes you want some drumsticks and thighs, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, sometimes, uh, I mean, I'm going to let you in on a little secret right here. Uh, hopefully, Usador's not going to get mad at me. Um, oh, oh. Now, we, you know, him and I, we have a, a special name. Uh, I like to call him, you know, I like to call him Phileas Jacksonius. Ooh. Yeah, because, you know, he is, he is the commander and champion of some of us wizards, you know what I mean? He can make us win in any situation. Wow. I can't you know? remember the first. I'll just shorten it to Phil. Phil Jacksonius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so Phil you can get it done, you know? Mm-hmm. He can win with anybody. Yeah. No matter who it is, he makes it happen. Wow. I like to coach young wizards. You know, Usador, I've got to say, <laughs> I've got to say, the fact that the Mauve Wizard likes you makes me think a little more highly of you. Yeah. I mean, sometimes. Amazing. Uh, some of the other wizards I'm seem to think your you're sort of a jackass. Only Spintax, who I have said time and time again, is nothing but a buffoon, a charlatan, chicanerous butt face. But he seems to have a little more, you know, magical abilities than you do. Uh, I doubt this. I mean, it's not about the magic, man. Sure. It's about what's inside. You know, so, you know what's, you know, I think the reason I like him so much is it's a time as old as the realm. You know what I mean? It's. Uh, you know, a, a crotchety kind of sometimes semi on the surface, grumpy right. white older mentor right. sure. who's like helping that young black kid just had, you know, make some of them himself, yeah. you know, and like, you know, sometimes you come knocking at that door and like, hey, man, aren't you the guy who wrote all those master spells? <laughs> and then I say, you're the man now, dog. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm going to go what? find the forest. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so excited to have finally met another wizard. Yeah, no problem, man. You know, anytime, anytime, man. You know, once you, you come down south, I take care of you. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. You know, I should. You know, this is the first time I'm really compelled to travel that far away from the tavern. 
Yeah, I mean a lot of lot of seafood, a lot of lot of coastal regions. You know, it's it's real fun, man. That's awesome. We have this real cool thing. It's called um, um, RDR. Yeah, RDR. RDR. Yeah, it's like this cool, like, it's a whole, like, two weeks of just celebrating. You know, we have, like, magical floats. You know, Ooh. we, like, we toss, like, magic charms Whoa. off the floats, you know. Holy and, cow. What do you have to do to get the charms? I mean, ooh. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if that's something, you you know, you can handle. You, you know, I young, feel like can, I really want those charms. Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta. What do I gotta do? I feel like I would, like, do anything to get one of those charms. You gotta show your butthole. I, what if I, okay, here's the thing. This is embarrassing. I only have one butthole. What? I have one butthole. Tragic. Oh, man. Can I ask you a favor? And, and uh, it's only if you want to do it, but as a king, yeah. I've had a wonderful feast. I had some chops and some uh, some great food. And if you would make me a cake that is fit for a king, but if you would maybe bake a baby inside of it. But not <laughs> sounds like a good idea. But not a some r- sort of kingly cake with a baby inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not a but not a real baby. With with magic, he could make a, a he could make a cake with a baby in it, and mm-hmm. then when you uh, eat far enough into the cake, you've got a new baby. Yeah. <laughs> like born from cake. Yes, wow. nothing yeah. nothing bad happens to the baby. You're like, oh, cute a baby! I was eating cake and I found a baby. Well, mm-hmm. let's do that. We'll slice it up, and whoever gets the baby in their mouth has to raise that baby. Uh, Chump, did you get any emails this week? Yes, I did. Uh, let's take a look here. This is an email from Lauren Slusky. Lauren says, hi, Chunts. Um, I was just wondering if you ever wanted to come visit Earth, if you could, where do you think you would go? I am from Canada. Canada? Canada, yeah. I am from Canada, and we have lots of awesome things to see here, so I think if you were ever to come visit Earth, it might be somewhere you want to stop by. You are awesome. Rock on. Uh, oh, thanks, Lauren. What, what, what all is in Canada? Oh, boy. Well, there's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, forests. I mean, it's not that dissimilar oh. from Foon in that way. A lot sure. of greenery. I like finding forests. <laughs> there's uh, maple syrup. Um, there's a game called hockey. Um, May I, I ask know. you a follow-up question? Sure. Would the people of Canada be offended by how you've just described their country? I think they would be like, that's a wild oversimplification, but not wrong. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, Canada, I know you're so much more. But, you know, uh, Canada actually has, like, a maple reserve of, like, that's that's like just billions of dollars worth of maple syrup. And people tried to steal it. There was a Mm. heist. There was a maple syrup heist in Canada. Um, And that's why I don't like to talk about Earth stuff. (laughs) Fair enough. There's one other email here. This is from Pablito. Hey, Chunt, big fan here. So I was thinking if you would be interested in having sex with me so you would shapeshift into me. Then you could go work in my place. I work in an office with a shitty boss, and all you definitely love it here. Anyway, Offices think about it and let me know. Say hi to you store for me and fuck Arnold. Hmm. Cheers. That's not nice. Um, yeah, I mean, thanks, Pablito, but I, I prefer to just play offices and bosses with Usador. Say hello to me. Oh. It says to say hello to me. <laughs> hello, Usador. Hello. Fuck you, Arnold. <laughs> what? No. Or maybe that was, I was supposed to be in action. Is that a verb? Uh, who does? Yeah, it says fuck Arnold. Hmm. Hey, if you want to email me, you can email me at magic tavern at puppies.supplies. It's a real email address. Here's one email I got this week. Hi, Arnie. You are the greatest. Love, James Skink. Stop writing emails to yourself. <laughs> I swear. I don't know if James Skink is a real person. At least this one's a little more not believable. But it's not me. But it's not me. All right, here's another one. Hello, Arnold. Uh, oh boy, someone spelled Jun, but they misspelled it in a bad way. And Usador, I have information valuable in regards to curses, dark lords, and magical dimensions. Oh, mm. I want much to help you all in your quest. This information is time sensitive and too valuable to send via email. In order to send this package through to you, I have set up an account with a local coin merchant to receive funds that will help with shipping through the portal. However, my land is under revolution and it is difficult to use money for exports. As the interim leader of my land, I am soon to lift our embargo. Please respond that you can submit 5 million coins to this merchant, and I will be able to send you 10 times interest once our revolution has succeeded. We look forward to your purchase. Why wouldn't you do that? Let's, let's hop on that. Hurry up before you miss out. What an amazing opportunity. Deal of a lifetime. We can help this person out, help ourselves out. Exactly. Uh, but I don't know. It seems a little shady. Classic win-win. Uh, can you, Arnie? Yeah? Can you? I can't reach a scratch here on my left arm. Could you? Yeah, sure. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. Chunt! Your oh. arm fell off! Oh my god. Uh, classic curse heightening. 
<laughs> oh my god. What? I can't clap. I can't clap, you guys. I can't clap. Are you sure you can? Just your arm's still laying there. Just hit it oh. with your other hand. Chun, Chun's arm fell off. What do you mean, classic curse heightening? Oh, when curses get worse, uh, Jimmy does gonna back me up here. Uh, you know, yeah. as curses uh, proceed, uh, you know, your arm falls off, or maybe your nose, or maybe an ear. It's mm-hmm. common. Hey, so- Jamilis, let me give you a hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Uh, See, he's already adjusted. Uh, wow, yeah, well, I mean, he's... he's- He's yeah. gone so quickly from concern to prop comedy. I'm in <laughs> shock. <laughs> oh, no. So this means that, like, we're in the end stages of this curse? Yes. If you have anything to say to Chunt, you should say it as soon as possible. Oh, my God. He probably has anywhere from the time is three, been- three weeks to five weeks to live. The time has been so ambiguous up until now in a, some, I have to admit, somewhat convenient way, but now it seems like we're really... Moving close to the end. Yes. Yep. I'm sure. gonna die. Chunt, chunt, man. Can you can you do me a favor, man? Sure. Before you go. Yep. Will you let all those badgers free in the south, man? Oh, absolutely. I, oh, were they not free? No. <laughs> Wait, oh. are you horrible? Oh, oh no. Yeah. Th- I mean, just immediately. Yeah, they're free now, sir. Yes. You come down south. Yeah. Maybe maybe yeah. maybe for a day or two. Yeah, absolutely. And lead a couple of marches. Uh, for badger freedom? Absolutely. You got it. Hand in hand. Mm, well. Well, hand, one hand. Sean, you're gonna die. And so our three pasty friends finish stumbling through that racial minefield without imploding. I, for one, am stunned. And now on to our credits. Imagine a fire extinguisher aimed at one of those PA systems they used for school announcements. That's the level of nuance brought to use Adore the Blue, as shouted by Matt Young. Chunt the Badger King was played by Abel Rafai, like a scoop of vanilla ice cream slowly melting over a stack of yellowing dad boxer briefs. Jamilius the Mauve was played by special guest Anthony LeBlanc. Anthony is a Second City main stage alum and a Second City resident director. For a fun distraction, ask Anthony anything about comic books and then enjoy the sensation of decaying into a skeleton made of dust and blowing away. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Evan Jacova, Ryan DeGiorgi, and Arnie Niekamp. This episode edited by Ryan DeGiorgi. Hello from the Magic Tavern was produced... Oh, you did that. Uh, what a... Um, music by Andy Poland, logo by Allard Laban, extra audio assistance by Jason Knox, production assistance by Garrett Schultz. Visit us at hellofromthemagictavern.com or on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks to the Chicago Podcast Co-op and, of course, thanks to Earwolf. Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, it looks like we're getting another distress call from Kern. <laughs> Hello, this is Kern from the Grassworn Galaxy. I need your help immediately. My hydration pump crank is broken. I don't know if that's a technical term, but it's the thing that like runs hey, around. Kern, can I, can oh, I interject? Trisha, Trisha. I just, I think I just overheard, and I think like if you can explain what it does, yes. people might not know that that's what you call it. Great. That's totally fine. Like, Great point, Trisha. Yes, uh, it's this uh, a little lever thing that runs around, and it usually gives air. It's like a humidifier. Yes. Yes. It, I think what it does is it circulates the oxygen that we take in, right. therefore dissipating the carbon monoxide that we are expelling and taking that to a separate area of our chamber so that we are not then poisoned by our own carbon monoxide. Sure, you That's could, just my layman. I mean, you could explain it that way, but yeah. I think I think a lot of people would understand that hydration pump. No, no, they is, totally would. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that they wouldn't. I just think, like, in this case, more information yes. is sometimes better because then people can hear it and decide how they feel about it. Right. Um, you know. It is now down to 10% level, though, so yes. we should probably... That's alarming. It and is. Um, just if anyone's listening, we're concerned that this might impact, you know, our life. I don't want to, like, get alarmist. But no, like, no, because we don't want just days ahead for us. We want years and decades, you know? Do? Yes. Are we only having this conversation because we're at 10%? Like, I need to know that... How come we never had this conversation when we were, like, in the 80s or 90s? How come it took us till 10%? I'm a little bad at communication. No, you're not bad at all. I think it's completely human behavior. I just want to... Sometimes I feel like my own communication crank is broken, you know? I know. Hmm. Should we keep monitoring these, or... 
Greg, do you see that light that's off? That monitors my interest level in distress calls from Kern. I wonder if our ratings will go up when Chunt dies. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I wonder how much our ratings will go up when Chunt dies. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin Tax, Shadow Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.